Wind Chill. And we have a special taste test here tonight. So, Mr. Beast has something called a Feastival Bar. And they came out, I believe, a few years ago, maybe 2022. And they had their flavors. Well, Mr. Beast decided he was going to come up with a new recipe to make them even better. And a new and a new pay, uh, logo and trademark here. So this is what the new bars look like, which came out just a and month or two ago. Oh, the dark chocolate sea salt? Hey, I gotta tell you something. And apparently Mr. Beast said they're the best dark chocolate, chocolate bars on earth. Which I don't know about that. Well, we'll that's why we that. do the taste test here. So, how are you gonna have a good how are you gonna have a good view of this if you don't like dark well, chocolate? Here's the deal. So, we have tried most of the original Feastables, and we were just like, considering they were supposed to be one of the best, we're like, ah, uh, they're okay. So now. We have some dark chocolate ones here and some regular chocolate ones here. Peanut butter and almond. We didn't get the milk chocolate and I think there's a peanut butter crunch. So we have four of the flavors. As you know, if you keep up with this show, I am not a fan of dark chocolate. It is not good at all. And the original dark chocolate feastable, it was not good at all to me. So if this is truly the best chocolate in the world, how will that be for the dark chocolate? And how will it really be as I test the milk chocolate form in the peanut butter and almond bars? So we're going to taste test a little bit of each one and tell you what we think. All right, little man of fire. You know which one I want to start with first? Which one? Probably the one that's going to be my favorite. Thank you, not dark chocolate. Peanut butter. By the way. Does the camera person get the taste too? The so? camera person yeah. can get the taste. I'd like to be able to assess this. All right, as well. the peanut butter new feastable. <laughs> and were these ones called something else too? Ooh. It smells that. It smells it's really good. Can I smell it? Oh. So it's weird. You have your. Everyone says they're really creamy. So you have your Mr. Beast Feastables in the large bars and then the three small bars and these new ones. So I'm going to take the Feastables edition here. You can see the peanut butter inside. They smell really good. They smell good. All right, here we go. Cheers. You want the big one? You want the mist? Oh, oh, I smashed it. What Sorry. Happened? Sorry. Well, it's not the best oh. looking chocolate <laughs> anymore. All right. Um. Guys. Here, I'll split it with you. It goes fast. It truly is comparable at the high end of other peanut butter candies. Some people have claimed it is better than Reese's. Some people claim it's not as good. I say it's close to being as good as other peanut butter or chocolate bars or candies. Cam person. These two are big peanut butter, like Reese's buff, so. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's close on the same scale. That maybe is I think the chocolate so is smoother good. than Reese's Peanuts pieces, but I think I might like the peanut butter a little better in the Reese's pieces or peanut butter. Everyone, but I like the chocolate. I like the chocolate better for Mister. That is true. Beast. Uh, yeah, it's smooth. I that like the smoothness. True. But everyone said. There's um, a hint of darkness to it, too, which scares me a little bit with the dark bars coming up. I don't mind that. So, maybe I on that. I wish I think I wish the peanut butter was a little saltier. Mmm. <clears throat> um. All right, which one next? But it was good. Oh, no. Mm. You're going to ruin my palate. Dark 
Rock Sea Salt. Uh, Almond will probably be my least favorite since I don't like... No, for me, the thing is on the Dark Sea Salt is I'm going to compare it to oh. other dark bars that I've had. I'm going to take the Mr. Beast logo this time. You can take this one. But I'm going to do it in moderation. Just give me a little block. You're going to... No, not it. the big block. Please. Little block. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I just don't like dark chocolate. So this is the <gasps> dark sea salt. Just dark chocolate sea salt. Uh It's still dark. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But the sea salt takes the edge off of it a little bit. It's got a, a nice little silk crisp to it. Still not great, but it is better. I'm going to have to say it is better than most dark chocolate that I've had. Oh, wow. What is it? The best dark chocolate bar in the world. Well, what kind of question is that? Dark chocolate's just not good for me. So, I can't um, say necessarily. I'm probably going to say the sea salt is probably going to be better than just the regular dark. Because, like I said, that salt takes the edge off. So, it might be... The dark chocolate sea salt might be the best dark chocolate I've ever had just because there's something in there to take the edge off. Also, I got to tell you something. And it's a little bit sweeter than bitter, too, I would <laughs> say, too. It's got a little sweetness instead of just that straight bitterness of dark, too. I would definitely say it's, like, a more high-quality dark chocolate. Mmm. Um, because, um... You're right, it's not bitter. It's mm -hmm. not... Everyone it's not as bitter of a dark chocolate, mm -hmm. and that sea salt makes it a little better. It's more tolerable for me, Are I should there say. Are videos that I watched on this? Um, everyone said it was creamy and rich. It is creamy. I would have to say that. What too. is it rich? <clears throat> right. No, I'm still going to pass on the other. What's one's next? It's taking it's a long time because everybody's down in all these chocolate bars. Real healthy, you know. Although these are supposed to be... These are supposed to be healthier than most chocolate bars, though. I mean, I think the chocolate is better, way better than Hershey's. Still at a lot of Brad stuff. Way better than Hershey's. Oh, sorry. that was the question. <clears throat> was the regular Beast Bar better than Hershey's Bar, and was the peanut butter one better than, like, a Reese's? Definitely, I think it's better than Hershey's. Yeah. Okay. Now, but I would Mr. like to Beast get and try... everything's better than Hershey's. Mm. I would like to get and try the regular milk chocolate bar, although this is probably this milk chocolate, but with almond right. in. Now, here's the regular dark chocolate. Mm. I'm just taking a little bar on this. I want to... Well, you can have a big one, too, whatever. Because I'm not eating the lead. Oh. This. I'm having Here nice we go. Crisp. Oh, wait. Oh. Little man of fire likes it. Still not great for dark chocolate. I mean, still not great because it's dark chocolate, but. Is it good for dark chocolate? Yeah, it's, At least I'll good? say it's more tolerable. More tolerable. I wonder what percent dark it is. It's is not... this one also creamy and rich? <laughs> it is cream. It, it, they are creamy and rich. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy one of the dark chocolate bars, obviously, because I just don't like dark chocolate, but it's more tolerable than some of the other ones. I would another one on peanut butter ones. Cool. I think those dark chocolate bars would be good on s'mores. Feastable s'mores. 
All right, well, everybody's downing them hard, so apparently for most people, they're good. Do they and not then, have a caramel one? They should. They, they should. should make they a should make a caramel one. one. But they do not. They only have seven flavors on purple. So, if Mr. B sees it, you should make a caramel um, one. Um, they you. have milk, milk, chocolate, dark chocolate, sea salt, peanut butter, almond. A little man of fire knows this beast um, bars. Dark chocolate. See this one. Peanut butter crunch. This almond one looks oh, regular on. milk, and you can see the nut infusion on the back of it. Should not have a caramel one. <coughs> they should. All right. This one's kind of like a crunch bar. All right, oh. the almond one. I think I'm chocolate uh, is out. Getting a sugar rush here Pretty myself. Much. You can tell the difference between the dark and the light chocolate. The dark actually looks darker than the light. Mm-hmm. Mm, I think I might like the dark chocolate better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you take a bite. This is good. Mm-hmm. You got almond. I'm usually not really a fan of chocolate bars with almond and certain nuts on them either, but... If it had caramel, seriously, if you had a caramel mm, bar, that might be one of my all-time faves. That would as long be- as it's not dark chocolate caramel. Hey, if Mr. Beast maybe you could do both. made a feastable on caramel, do you think it would be the best chocolate bar in the world? For it you? might be. It might be if you had one of these Beast bars infused with a nice layer of caramel. Kind of like the uh, peanut butter ones, but if it had caramel. So Mr. Beast, or anybody who knows Mr. Beast watching. Tell I'm, Mr. Uh, Beast to make a caramel bar. All right, but I do agree that these new and improved Feastable bars here are better than the originals. Quite a bit better than the originals, actually. Okay. And if you like these certain flavors, they're definitely worth a try. The milk chocolate, I really like. Mm -hmm. The dark chocolate is an upgrade from other dark chocolates, I'd have to say. I'd have to admit. I still wouldn't go to my way to buy one, obviously, but that's just me. But they might. Can person with you, you're a fan of the dark chocolate. Would you go buy... A dark chocolate Mr. Beast Feastable. Maybe the plain dark chocolate, yeah. Mm. The plain dark chocolate one I enjoyed the best. <laughs> okay. What <coughs> a man of fire. What is going on? I don't know. I think you're getting sugar rush, sugar hide from all this I chocolate. I like it. It's probably not good. All right. So go check out if you haven't yet. They've been out a little bit already. But they're still pretty oh, new. No. Um, chocolate on the I know you can usually find them at Walmart in your candy area. Maybe some other stores too. But go check out Mr. Beast's new and improved Feastables. They truly are improved. So we will see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.